Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Triplus. Today I uh, I went to the IKEA and I got uh, not only one but two of these guys. So I've known that these are available for quite a while now. Um, at least in uh, in Sweden and, and I think the, the the United States as well. Um, in Belgium, they only became available since the first of uh, February, and we're the second today. Uh, so, well, that's uh, a little bit how I uh, how I got them. So today, uh, I woke up. There was a lot of snow outside, but uh, I did go through because I really wanted those guys. Because they also had them available in the Netherlands and Germany, but they were always sold out uh, when I looked. So I just went there, they were in stock, and I got them. So I got one with the remote uh, and one without the remote. This one cost, I think, 14.99 euros, and this one cost 9.99 euros. So I, I think it's worth it. Um, I'm going to unboxing. Uh, unbox them, uh, link them to the uh, the Trot Free app, which I know it's quite a wide screen, but if I focus on there, uh, you can see that it's the uh, the Trot Free uh, app. Um, now it wants to go back to the normal. There we go. Um, so linking them to there and seeing if I can find them in Home Assistant very easily. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Um, why I did buy one with Team Remote? Uh, just because I wanted the remote, I guess. Uh, and because this one should already be linked to, uh, to the app. So let's get going. There were no uh, stickers uh, on the box, so they're easy to open. I'm sorry, you cannot see that. Um, I'm not sure if that is because they want to lower the amount of plastic, but on the other hand, the whole box is filled with plastic. So whatever, I guess. Um, we got uh, two booklets, of course, three, four, uh, just a bunch of things, uh, oh, five. Let's see. Um, this is the first one in uh, 50 million different languages. Uh, but I guess open it, turn it around, unscrew it, remove. Oh, there's a plastic tag still in, uh, I guess. Okay, let's. Uh, I didn't expect that, but anyway. Okay, so this one isn't that difficult to open. Normally, with the actual. Uh, with the, the lamps, uh, if you pulled it up, um, it would take uh, very long to, to open it, if you can remember my first video. And then in the box we have the uh, the, the smart plug, which is uh, yeah, it's made in China apparently. Uh, then we have the remote um, with uh, uh, a self-adhesive uh, sticker and Okay, we can remove this. This is a magnet, and then I guess this is a uh, an on and an off. So there's that, and we got a battery in it as well. So that's uh, that's always nice. So I'm going to get a screwdriver, uh, and let's see. Uh, oh, well, let's insert the battery in it because I guess we'll be needing that. Be right back. So we have the remote. Uh, normally. They should be linked already from the box, so let's try to stick them in the outlet. Um, I also brought an LED strip. So this is the LED strip. This is just a phone charger on the USB, leftovers of a USB strip. So let's try it. We can already see that on the bottom there's a light, so let's try pressing the remote. Let's press on. Okay, so light on, that on, light off, that off. Let's plug in the USB. So on, ta -da, off. Nothing too fancy, I guess. Uh, but let's see how we can pair it to the Thread Free app. So let me focus on this. There we go. Let me bring it a little bit closer. Uh, but then it's getting difficult to see. Oh, that was my tablet. 
I'm going to try to put it on this box so it's a little bit higher. Uh, yep, I think that is looking decent. So, uh, yeah, my app is in Dutch, but uh, add a, a, a device. Then we have the uh, smart plug. So, we need to, the LED on the front needs to be on. So, let's turn it on. And <laughs> there goes my tablet again. So, that needs to be on. Okay. Select, the, uh, select the, the remote. I have this one. Next. So, I need to, ah. Oh, are you serious? I need to open it again. Okay. I should have seen this coming because it's the case with all the thread free uh, devices. Okay, let's pull this off. And now it's probably not going to come off. Oh. Ah. Okay, so it's this little thing here and I need to be two centimeters removed from it, so... Okay, so I'm quickly going to interrupt the video here. This is recorded uh, while editing actually. I have six or seven different videos um, of me trying to connect the trot free smart plug to the hub it was quite challenging to be honest um, with the next clips um, you will see what i did to to fix it um, in the end it's just a little bit of uh, things on my end that i should have known because i linked them in the past but anyway um, I'm first going to try it with an old remote and then I realized I can also link the new remote, but you will see it in the video. Okay, so there's one more thing that I'm going to try and do, and it's actually use one of these remotes. Um, it just seems that I'm unable to, uh, where is it, to connect this remote to the app. Um, let's try with this remote, that's the only thing I can still think of. So, add a device. The plug, yeah, I also reinstalled the app a few times already. So let's try this. Ha, huh. look at that, we found it. Yeah, that's uh, quite stupid to be honest. Uh, not sure yet why that's happening, but uh, let's give it a name. Um, plug. I went to the capital letter. Plug dash. Where's the dash? Um, I'm going to call it, and this is going to be for my shrimp fans. Yes. I think it should be in the app now. Okay, we have eight devices. Okay, the plug is in the bedroom. I don't want that. Uh, but uh, it's in the office. But I don't want to have it handle that. So I'm going to put that here. And then, uh, oh, sorry. So this is now not controllable by this remote anymore. No, I'm not mistaken, I should be able to, yeah, look at that. So yeah, there's no light, of course, I'm not even sure what the app is trying to do right now. Yeah, it's uh, not able to load them, that's obvious. Um, but let's try the other uh, plug as well. So let's unplug this one. Yeah, this is not the best setup. I was just a little bit desperate, so I brought everything uh, in 30 centimeters of each other. So let's plug this one in. 
let's do the same so in the app I'm going to um, add a new one I'm going to add a oh wait 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 I found something um, so if I click the plus here there's this uh, wireless it's it's both uh, this is a remote and this is as well remote but it's a different one so let's try that so I opened it um, I press it four times and then we need to wait 10 seconds so two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's click next so you need to click on this button and that's what I've been doing for the past uh, hour or so <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, it found it, it actually found it. So the app is just a little bit, uh, <laughs> I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to call it, but the app is just broken, I guess. Um, because this option to add this remote is not everywhere available. Uh, so let's see, where did, I, where did it put? Uh, it's in a different remote, so let me move this one. <laughs> able to drag this okay that's let's just try to to pair this uh, plug with this remote now because that should be possible so let's add a device it's a, a smart plug now I'm choosing this remote as you can see so this remote next and let's try it And look at that, it found it. That's, uh, that took a lot, lot longer than expected, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to keep this name. I honestly don't care. Uh, because that means that um, we now have a plug over here with this remote. So if I press this button here, um, it, it is switching it. We have a plug in this group, which is separate. Um, it's also not plugged in right now, because... Uh, I have it uh, over here um, and the rest is still available so I guess the main takeaway from uh, connecting this if you have this remote you need to add it to the gateway first which I already thought I needed to do but you need to do it in a fairly weird way you need to do it via here and you see it over here but if you uh, try to add a remote from here it, it's not possible. Uh, basically a remote means new room uh, in the app. Um, glad I figured that out I guess. Uh, so now we have the remotes in the app. Um, I'm going to hop on my computer and uh, let's check in Home Assistant what, uh, what we can find. And I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup here. Uh, be right back. Okay so this is my uh, Home Assistant instance as you can see. Um, I think the first thing we need to do is just uh, restart it. I'm going to check my config just to be sure that I didn't make any mistakes last time because I was tinkering with it uh, yesterday. So now it's uh, a little bit of waiting till it starts. Um, so it's restarting. I, I still think uh, it wasn't that clear in the app. I, I knew I had to reconnect the remote, but uh, just didn't want to do it, I guess. Um, but we figured it out after a lot of. Uh, of trial and error. So the Tomo system okay it is back. We won't see anything. Apparently this okay, it's not broken. But if we go here, uh, one of them uh something with fans. Just can't remember the exact name. This is Tratfree Outlet 2. And this is the first one. So I'm going to quickly open a notepad. I'm going to Copy those names in it. 
So we have this one and we have This one uh, is broken, need to remove that. Uh, and this is the second one. So let's go into, uh, I'm just going to put it in my, my test. Uh, so configure the UI. Um, can I just add it here? I think I can. Do we have something like a switch? Um, I guess this shouldn't be that important. Uh, let's just use entities. Uh, got the flux entity should be uh, this one. Yes, this one. Yes. Save it. Uh, let's exit the. We have both of them right here seem to be working so i have also the switch uh, right in front of me let's press it there we go so it's connected to the second one apparently um it's quite reactive i'm not sure if you can hear the click so that's uh that's fairly good um the integration in home assistant was very easy the integration with the the thing itself was a, a nightmare to be honest uh I, I expect it to be easier. I think it's easy if you know how to do it. So I hope this uh, video can uh, help you a little bit with your struggles uh, that I uh, that I did. Um, I'm going to try to edit it down as uh, as good as possible. I think it took me almost an hour to to figure everything out from the first clip I shot to here, uh, maybe even longer. Uh, not sure. So um, yeah, I uh, I hope this uh, gives you a little bit of a. Uh, of an insight in uh, in the thread free smart plugs. I know they've been around in some countries for a while, but in Belgium, it's the second day that they've uh, they've been out. So, hope you guys enjoy uh, enjoy your uh, your smart plugs as well. I'm also planning to once I played around with this a little bit to do a comparison between Sonoff and the thread free plugs. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, oh, I just threw the remote on the ground. Uh, so thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.